What it is, what's up, got your fucking Marvel content to cut. I don't want to curse there. Um, first off, how does IGN keep on breaking these trailers down? Because when you type this in, I'm pretty sure they're the first ones that pops up. Unless Marvel got the, the game to cut. Marvel doesn't. I don't know why people keep on letting IGN break these trailers. IGN sucks. Another thing that sucks is my audio setup. I uh, am playing the audio straight through the computer. So you're hearing it with me. <laughs> I need to figure out how to... Uh, if you know how to pass the audio into the desktop, the... This is for heaven. Um... This comes out November 2021, I believe. November 5th, 2021. So I don't know... The Black Widow movie comes out, I think, this... Well, not this month, but I think it comes out in June. So that's about five months. I think they probably have something else planned between now and then, but this is I, probably, I mean, it's going to be the first new IP, I know for sure. Uh, an IP. New, new, uh, new, new universe, new line, whatever you want to say. And it's star studded cast. That's really what makes me hyped up. Richard Madden, you know, Rob Stark, uh, Gimma Chan. I've seen her in something, but I don't remember what it was. Kumai Nanjiani, Lauren Ridolph. Brian Tyree Henney, I believe that's um not a hundred percent sure where I see my man. Oh, oh, uh, Paperboy, yeah, yeah, my bad, my bad, Paperboy, my bad, yeah, Brian Tyree Henney. I don't know who I was thinking about, but I think I just saw Ty. And I was like Tyrone. That's that's self racism right there. Uh, yeah. Wait, well, hold up. Has he been in other Into the Spider Verse? Oh, it doesn't count. Okay, never mind. That's not that doesn't necessarily count because usually Marvel tries to refrain from having someone be in two different roles in the same universe. Um, Salma Hayek, everybody knows her. Leah McHugh, Don Lee, Barry Keonan, Angelina Jolie, and then it pretty much appears that Kit Harrington is kind of like going to be the least, uh, not necessarily relevant, but. Probably the least amount of screen time out of all of them because he's been kind of billed as such, from what I understand. But obviously, it's Kit Harrington, everybody has decided for him. So let's go ahead and get down to the nitty gritty here. I'll turn this down a little bit. I don't think there's going to be anything of worth being said, per se. It kind of reminds me of Aquaman. Like, where I, I don't know. It just reminds me of Aquaman. So you have Immortals Touchdown. That's, I think, the idea here. A uh, very prehistoric hunter-gatherer society. Richard Madden. Give him a chance. God, what, what was she in? I've seen her before. I don't know what it was. Brian Tyree Henney. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. That was a cool little transition there. You know, I will say one thing. It's always pretty cool how Marvel, now that they're like expanding to all these different universes and such, they still find ways to like make it somehow plausible that all these individuals, these super powerful mother efforts that have been sent on the same planet. Now, yeah, I said mother efforts. I'm trying to curse. You saying like powerful individuals that are always on the planet at the same time somehow were not cognizant of each other. And obviously, there's always going to be some like how should I say some disbelief that you have to suspend because of the simple fact that after the Thanos event and you know, these other world breaking events it's kind of amazing that like they never wanted to work together even though they were in the universe at the same time in this case they were there before anybody the immortals or the Eternals my bad but I, I think you do a, a good enough job as one could expect of connecting all of these people that should have reasonably like made each other you know, centuries ago to count to to uh, quote Nicki Minaj. Wait, that was Kit. Oh shit! Tell so you some of these Eternals like line up in modern day, cause that was Kit, who you know Gimme Chan used to be with Richard Madden. So I'm just sitting here thinking to myself, and yeah, um. The, the Whitman character is not lined up with this, so... His character seems to be more of a modern-day individual, while 
these characters seem to be more of you know just in the past i guess some event leads to the future i don't know the the marvel like comic lore but for some reason they kind of wind up in this crazy modern times that we are experiencing i'm just interested to see how that affects with kit harrington says richard madden um is the lead appears to be the lead of the eternals i don't want to interrupt this he appears to be the lead of the eternals and then kit harrington is this external figure that's not necessarily connected to the Eternals, at least initially speaking. And we're gonna get some. I, we're gonna get some. Uh, <laughs> I, I honestly, God, I believe we're gonna get some fan service at some point between those two because they're the leading male figures of Eternals and then not Eternals for the sake of this movie. They 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 should have some kind of fan service between those two. <laughs> that's a fire ass uh scene they put there okay i fuck with it um yeah i like that a lot that that was i like that a lot and they i mean that's that was one of my i wouldn't say concerns but one of my thoughts while i was you know watching this is that how soon they can connect this to that world you know new york city america uh, the Avengers, and they maybe there's not a, a necessarily a time where they're frozen and not cognizant of the modern things because I mean they seem to be very acute of at least the Avengers, which should be interesting to see how that all ties and they you know to things. But I you know they, I think Richard Man's gonna have a pretty huge part in all of this, and you know I I like to like to see that. I mean he's a very personable actor. I, I, he pretty much disappeared into most of modern society after getting killed in season two of uh, Geo. Was it season two? It was season one. I think it was season one, episode nine, right? Anyway, the fucking Red Wedding. Everybody knows what I'm talking about. The Red Wedding. Um, it's, it's just amazing to see how things go from here with him being. I would say with Chadwick Boseman's passing. RDJ, as I understand, being out the picture, Steve Rogers being signed to do like some stupid like I guess what if like thing with his character, but out of the main universe. From what I, from what I understand, I would say Richard Madden automatically is like at least one of the top three actors. Not necessarily name, but you know, just that motherfucker. He's that motherfucker, and I would say that Benedict Cumberbatch. These days, uh, Tony Mackey might be number two. He, his his brand has you know expanded quite a bit. And I'm saying actors, not actresses. Um, oh, I forgot about Tom Holland. Yeah, Tom Holland. I think Richard Madden's probably a better actor than Paul Rudd, but he'd be a bit. Oh, I forgot about Chris Hemsworth. Okay, so okay, Chris Hemsworth. So I think Richard Madden's probably a, a better actor than like the majority of this universe, but they got some pretty big names. So I, I will. Uh, call a mulligan on that opinion that I had. All right, don't show me Black fucking Widow. Let's can we keep on going, please? I don't want to see Black Widow. <laughs> I will say one thing. Um, fucking Mid Somar. I'm very interested to see how how she's treating the Marvel universe. They have fucking everybody at this point. I'm interested in that. But that's it for me. I've been going on way too long.